All right, so the Dragon Ball Hero Celebration is upcoming very, very soon. We should basically have everything in at most a week from now, I'm assuming. So very exciting times. I want to, you know, get some preparation videos done for Heroes, kind of talk about what I think is going to be coming. And let's just talk about the Easy A's. So I know Easy A's are probably one of the more hype things people are excited about because these units have been essentially in the game for years. And now they have the potential to become really, really good again. So I want to confirm which units are going to be getting an easy A. As we see last year, we got a couple of easy A's. And I think people are a little confused on who's going to easy A this year. Uh, but we do know exactly basically who should easy A at the very least. So if we take a look here, these seven units easy A previously. These are the first seven hero units. So these guys came out on September of 2016. Then if we go back to the following year uh, in November, which is when we started getting yearly hero stuff. These guys came out. So it was the first seven original uh, Dragon Ball Heroes units that ended up getting their EZA. Very, very exciting times. So now, obviously, we know that every year they're basically going to do the new batch of hero units. At least for what we're presuming, it's going to be seven units per Extreme Z battle. And if you take a look here, here are the seven units that came out in 2018. Some of them awakened the following year and then, you know, came out like, you know, with Golden Cooler. So a lot of people thinking like, you know, that Golden Cooler is going to easy and stuff like that. No, it is going to be these seven units specifically unless they want to do something weird. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it's just going to be these seven units here. And we're going to go ahead and just go hop right into it. I'm going to talk about what I would like to see from these guys as easy A. And hopefully they could be really impactful to the game. So I think first off, let's start off with Super Saiyan 3s. Super Saiyan 3s people are most excited about. So let's, this Vegeta, honestly, this Vegeta came out. He was pretty nice offensively. But of course, he just didn't really, I feel like, have the mega oomph impact that he did and should have had in the long run i mean xeno super saiyan 3 vegeta is quite cool right so just a few small quick changes i would make to this guy greatly raise attack and defense easy or at the very least 30 percent defense for the turn like greatly raise attack raises defense something like that uh at the very least add defense to the super attack effect would be very very important 100 percent attack and defense to save one enemy guard honestly i'm okay with that um i mean if they really really want to be cool they make this super effective against all types and then that would be really great obviously his stats are going to increase i'm not going to talk about like you know oh they should what what percentage they should make these stats right i think that's just a general thing they usually handle at the very least the stat increases usually well he gets an additional attacking defense and chance to crit per dragon Ball heroes category ally up to 35 percent well i'd say for this Maybe they could bump this up to 50%. Or what they could do as well is they can make another restriction on this. So maybe it's not just Dragon Ball Heroes, but Dragon Ball Heroes or Vegeta's family. Dragon Ball Heroes or Beyond Super Saiyan, Bond of Parent and Child. Add an extra category to that restriction. And then that'll allow you to use these units not only specifically on the Heroes team. Though a lot of these heroes are already on like, you know, like time travelers. You can run a bunch of heroes on the pure Saiyans team. Super Saiyan 3 is probably going to just be filled with heroes units. You want to definitely be able to um, get a good mix there. Or I guess another thing they could do uh, is they can make the buff higher and keep this the same so that you need less units. Because right now you need basically all seven units on the team to be... Um, well, not all seven, six, right? Uh, somewhere around that number. Or, no, it's five, actually. I'm dumb. But you need five units on the team. If they make it like, you know, you only need three units, that makes it a lot easier for this Vegeta team we ran on these other teams. Because keep in mind, it does count himself as an option. Plus an additional 50% attack when performing a super attack. Again, very easy. Add defense there. Make him have defense start a turn, defense when supering, and then defense on super attack. All three of those will multiply against each other, and then that'll make him very, very strong. Again, give him super effective against all types so that he has the offensive version of that ability um, compared to Goku's guard, right? And because the same enemy's guard is just not good enough. I mean, it's just good against type neutral, but it's not nearly effective as you know the guard that the Goku have, which is why I think adding super effective to him would be really, really cool. Maybe even the super effective here or something. Um, maybe he gives like a support buff or gets like that super effective if there's a full heroes category of rotation, right? I think there's a lot of ways to make this guy good. Additionally, I guess one last thing, give him key. 
because he could be interesting for him sometimes i mean especially if you're running a lot of prepared for battle units he has over to flash right so that's the only thing but heroes units usually have shattering limit and then royal lineage is also a pretty good link for the lr vegeta and trunks team which this guy would be on uh vegeta, like kind of vegeta's family version of that now goku again it's, it's also very simple i mean they're definitely not going to give him defense stacking or anything like that i'd say at most a defense race for one turn like attacking defense race for one turn would be good this could stay the same i don't think they have to change that or they just make it a great chance to stun and don't give him super attack raise i think i'd be okay with that because this guy has guard guaranteed then he has 35 percent reduction again i think that the stats increase from his eza by itself and along with the general stats increase he'll get here will probably be more than enough to make up for it but similar to vegeta they should add maybe an extra category on top of that probably i'm not i don't know if it would be something like goku family but maybe like you know power beyond super saiyan is another good thing or maybe one of these smaller category teams to help them just a little bit if you end up running that team for some future category mission and then i think they could add an extra thing here maybe like a critical hit chance as well wouldn't hurt uh, just to have something a little extra um obviously wouldn't really be the best for him because he's a defensive unit uh, ideally dodge but i don't know if they're gonna add too much of that stuff they usually like trying to balance these units out or for being realistic so i'd see them adding crit to this unit that's meant for defense um i can hear add defense uh, that's bare minimum simple things that they do he i think giving him key it would be nice but he doesn't need it as much because he does have the saiyan lineage link and over in a flash saiyan lineage is a very very impactful link and uh, it's actually pretty good it'll help out like if you're running like goku family and you have tech gohan on the team right um bardock doesn't have saiyan lineage does he no he does have saiyan lineage See, that'd be good for the new dokkan fest tech bardock right bam very easy very simple right for that goku family team that he's running um again i mean if they add goku family to this on top of that that would be really sick getting the full 35 percent reduction with the guard and goku family his stats his defense stats should be around 11k and if they add the defense on super attack as well he could be pretty nasty uh, this guy has i feel like the most potential to be disgusting because of that damage reduction plus guard it, that ability like together they just reduce so much damage it's it's not even funny how good that is right it's just stupid <laughs> so next we have uh demigram akiyoko form i think this guy could be good um unfortunately i think he was kind of a flop when he came out again greatly raised attack and defense very easy to make him good like there this is nice they could either add attack here or make the defense higher either way i'm okay with that this debuff is cool I mean, what if they add him like a medium chance to stun all enemies or something? That could be really interesting just to further fire the defense, you know, debuff type of thing going on there. This should be like attack and defense plus 20%. <laughs> and then I guess maybe they could expand it to Realm of Gods as well. That could be interesting for like an extreme class Realm of Gods kind of team, like with all the Goku blocks. Um, give them some type of ability like dodge, I think could be interesting. Like, you know, he's a floating unit that's dodging, supporting, debuffing, right? This guy could actually become one of the more, like, fun units to run. Like, one of these units that helps complete the team, like Time Travelers, Resurrected Warriors, Roma Gods, right? Kind of help bring it together could be interesting. The only thing is that, of course, it's just extreme class. I mean, I guess another thing they could do, just make it all allies, key through in defense 30% that wouldn't be really too difficult and then maybe they still keep the extreme class somewhere where he gives extreme class specifically attack that they've been doing that recently a little bit like str piccolo that came out he gives all allies key defense and then specifically super class allies attack i believe right so that could be good um and yeah crossover i think crossover because he awakened in 2020 right so he came out basically with uh the vegeto when he introduced crossover category team so yeah dude that's crazy because <laughs> some of these units awaken in 2019 some awaken in 2020 right like you see super saiyan 3 is awakened in 2019 but yep uh this demigra could be quite interesting mirror i think also has a lot of potential because he does have greatly raising defense uh he could be pretty good for the androids team 
I mean, he will share some links with like the tech, um, not the tech androids. I mean, the gammas, right? He'll have Android Assault and that's it. <laughs> yeah, he'll have Android Assault and that's it basically. I mean, he will have tough as nails. Let's say if you have, you know, the 17 Hachan unit, this unit has tough as well. Let me just bring up tough as nails. You can see a lot of these Android units have it. The AGL Android A technically has it, right? The Hachan and 17 have this link, right? They got easy very soon. They could be good. And this mirror right here does get an easy A. They do share a lot of links as well. Hopefully this mirror eventually gets an easy A. That'd be pretty sick. Um, in 16, a very, very good option. Android is so in, you know, tough as nails, right? That's a pretty good link. So I think I could find them really good on the Android team. Uh, I always thought this was dumb. They definitely have to make this higher. Make the defense match the offense. Duh, that's okay. I think it's interesting because he debuffs and then he has this. I think what they really, really should do to make him good is they should make it where it could be attack or defense down for the enemy. Then give him an additional attack guaranteed. So no matter what, he always does stack. Um, and then this could have been nice. This could be nice, right? But it's not like the biggest of a deal if he misses out on it. But like what happens is you could debuff, get an additional super, then have the extra buff. I think I would really like that this mirror could be interesting for sure maybe make him debuff as well on his super attack effect if they really want to go crazy so he has a double debuff or give him stun here or something uh, something interesting i think uh just to like make this guy more varied and where in fact you know in the future maybe you need a stunning debuff unit and uh, extreme super battle state or something this guy can come help you right next we have supreme kai of time power of time unleashed people are very excited about the supreme kai of time easy a I am too, honestly. He's probably one of the more like exciting units I think I personally want. This 100% race. Like, you don't. Her super attack effect, I do not think it's going to change at all. At most, they'll make it massively raise attack and defense. At most, right? But I think that they'll keep it as it is. This is cool. Make this 40%, honestly. You know, it's funny. I was saying, like, I'm not really going to talk about the stat increases within all this video. I'm just talking about it. <laughs> um this is yeah make this 40 percent. this is fine um honestly this is okay too but just make it attack and defense like what if it's tagging defense 12 percent and then tagging defense 12 percent for both of them and then you have two separate great chances of the support and then she can give like 70 percent support to everyone <laughs> or something crazy like that right i think that'd be fine make her have her own starter turn on tagging defense what if she just has a what if she just has a 70 percent chance dodge that'd be crazy or she has guard like what if she guards in slot three and then she's like the ultimate floating unit something like that could be interesting yeah that's what i would say her link set sucks which is why you know it's really good that she's gonna give the key but cold judgment could be quite an interesting link right i mean cold judgment the heroes team how many heroes units would have that i mean i think god god trunks has cold judgments um uh, yeah, just God Trunks in the hero team, basically, huh? That has the cold judgment. Like, I mean, this, um, C-List, you can see. I forgot his name. C-List, huh? Yeah, there's not really too many hero units that would have that. But a lot of these, like, Supreme Kai, like, you know, the Supreme Kai unit right here has it. A lot of these Trunkses do have it. So, it's not out of the question. Maybe, like, in a future Time Traveler's team, cold judgment is pretty often on all of these Time Travel units, like Trunks, Goku Black. So, yeah, Godly Power as well. Uh, she can be interesting. I think I, I hopefully they just make her a very defensive base, like a mega defensive base, and that'd be what I would like. Now these next two, the Black Mask Saiyan and the Dark Mask King, they're kind of dependent on working together. So this guy, what if he? I think you know, a good thing to give him just stacking defense. I think that'd be fine. And then with this guy, give him stacking attack, right? Okay. So the reason why, um, well, I mean defense raise would be good on him but probably better ideally but this guy has these buffs right here which is cool so he does get a uh, super attack basically guarantee when keys 10 or more i mean they could just lower this and then make it so that he gets key through at nine key or more and then he just all supers like all the time basically this could be interesting make it have defense and then make this a high chance great i think that'd be pretty cool i'm not sure what else i could add to him um like Dark Mask King is not a unit. You can look at other units and be like, yeah, Dark Mask Kings usually do this because it's like the only one in the game. I mean, I could maybe give him some type of stun ability. 
it could be interesting. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, if he stacks defense, he could just be just a general defense stacker. I think that just be the one thing that I would add to him to make him like kind of not necessarily unique, but just good. It's it's an easy way to make a unit good, but I'm not sure what else they could really like add to this guy based off his kit. He's basically just stats. Like he's just going to be like, yeah, I'm doing a big attack and defense, right? Because this back then, this was pretty huge because this is a multiplicative buff. And then I think this technically counted as start of turn. So what happens is this allowed a lot of them to do some pretty good damage back then. Um, this Vegeta was interesting. Now this Dark Mask King, King Vegeta, he does have guard. Um, when there's a Dragon Ball Heroes category, I'll attacking on the same turn, which is good. He does get this, which the fact that it lasts for five turns is really good. I love that a lot. The reason why I was saying attack stacking though is if he stacks attack and then he do more damage here. Like what if, what if he greatly raises attack and then throughout the battle he just he heals you more and more and more. Or they give him like a chance to crit somewhere in his kit. I think that can be what makes this guy good because he, he's there basically to help you survive because uh, he debuffs and then he heals you back right he debuffs guard and then heals you back i like this guy's design a lot i think people underrated how good this guy was for a long time even now if like he could be interesting in like extreme super battle states even red zone if we got like a very strong heroes team the only unfortunate thing is that most of the heroes team wasn't really that great this guy's stats are obviously too low so you know with the stat buffs right he'll he might even be reaching around 12k I could see him reaching around 12k defense or something, right? And then this is a multiplicative defense buff with guard. He could be really good. I think this guy people should look out for because he's going to be pretty strong in the heroes team for sure. But that's all of them. Uh, let me know who you guys are most excited for out of these bunch. I would say personally, I'm probably more excited for just Xeno Goku. I think just easy, easy choice. Honestly, I might be excited for this guy second the most. He's going to be interesting but thank you all for watching and i'll catch you next time